Hi guys, peace be unto you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, my name is Adriano, guys, and I'm Aral, and I, I'm here to make this video as an encouragement to many people, um, to many people, especially the youth, uh, people who are involved in many group of people, let's say religions and churches, um, that I make this video as a call. Just as Jesus, when he was here, he make a call, not just to his disciple, but after he trained them, he sent them to the world that he should preach the gospel. Um, I'm a preacher of the gospel. I go to many places, um, such as Pasai, Makati, Moa, and many other places, Kubao, and Festival Moa, Laban. I go to these places uh, to share the gospel, to share the word of God, because the word of God is bread. The Bible say in the book of John chapter 6, verse 33, the Lord say, for the bread of God is he that come down from heaven. So the bread, that is bread, and this bread should be shared to others who do not know anything about the bread of life. And without the bread of God, people will not be alive, will never be alive. It doesn't matter what group of religion we belong to, church, whether we are born again Christian or Seventh-day Adventist, any group, whether you are Muslim or Christian or Jew, everyone has a chance and opportunity to know and to be encountered with the Word of God. And as I do this and go to places, that's the motivation. But then, as I was like doing it, just as I tried to share my story with you, um, the Lord started teaching me. Actually, I was like kind of like star boy because I didn't know whether I can go or not. Because He started telling me go and preach in the open air. I was like, who in the world? I mean, whoever I saw, I mean, someone would just out there and preach in the street. Um, and uh, the Lord taught me a lot of things. You know, it's so, it was very difficult to learn those lessons, but it really, just as a teacher, teaches on, uh, um, a good teacher teaches on a student to learn, to make sure that you learn the instruction. So the Lord making me to really understand the point. And even he taught me, because I didn't know, like as an Adventist, I really didn't know, because remember, by the way, for you who listen, whether you are Muslim or Jew, Adventist means a person who is waiting for the coming of the Lord. And he needs to prepare, he or her needs to prepare herself for himself and prepare also others. And I was, um, yeah, as Adventists, we know that they are, Revelation 14 talked about the, uh, the three angels' masses. So I was asking the Lord, Lord, which one do you want me to, to preach to the people? And the Lord said, opened my mind that it was not, it was not about going out there and preach, preach about the first angel masons and second angel masons and the third angel masons. This masons, then I asked, so which one? And he started teaching me. <laughs> he started teaching me something that every masons in the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, is all about repentance. And I was, I didn't understand. Because he helped me to understand that the three of messages, which actually give a lasting gospel, this message is a message of repentance, is a message of calling people out of the false system of worship and come to the worship of the true God. The Babylon is falling, even the, the other, the third of the that say that he that received the, the, the mark of the beast and worship the beast or the image of the beast will receive the plagues of the Lord from God. So all this. Uh, all this, the Lord was helping me. Then I started to really realize that everything in the Bible is about repentance. As, as I've seen that even Daniel was talking about the image that Nebuchadnezzar dreamed, the end of that story should, should bring people to repentance because once you talk about the king of Babylon, Mary Persia and Greece and Rome, which is the lies, then you will see another kingdom come and break into pieces all the four kingdoms. But that kingdom... The Bible teaches us that no unrighteous man shall go into the kingdom of God, according to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9 and to 10, the Bible says, 
they, that know you, don't you know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? The Bible says no fornicators, no adulterers, no uh, idolaters, no infeminine abuse of themselves with mankind. Then in verse 10 it says no thieves, no covetous, no drunkards, no revilers, no extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. So in other words, if we are going to live in the kingdom of God, there must be a preparation. And that's the calling that I'm making uh, for you that are listening, that God is a kingdom. The kingdom of God is not this kingdom that we see today all messed up with suffering and death and injustice and all of these things that we see. The kingdom of God is a kingdom of righteousness. It's a kingdom that calling people for repentance. So, um, therefore, I make this invitation that please, if in case you feel that the Lord is speaking to you, because I don't go out there and then um, talk about some other stuff. I emphasize the Word of God. And one of the things that I saw I want you to share with you is actually in the book of Luke. When I was asking the Lord, what should I preach? I saw here in the book of Luke, last chapter, Luke chapter 24, the Bible says in verse 46, the Bible says this, Actually, in 45, 46, 45 say, Then open ye their understand. Talking about Jesus open the understanding of the disciple that they, should, they might understand scripture. So the understanding of the scripture is so important. Or else you're just gonna guess. And then 46, the Bible say, say unto them, thus it is written. Now remember, Jesus was a was a person who always say it is written. So thus it's written, and thus it is behaved, Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day. Now notice the, the verse 47. 47 the Bible says, and that repentance, now it was after the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus was giving instruction to his own disciple. He said that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in the name, in his name, among all nations, doesn't matter what nation you are, whether you are from India or whether you are Filipino, whether you are Muslim or whatever, whatever group people you belong, whether you are, you are from America, whether you are from Europe or Africa, the Bible says that the, the, the repentance and remission of sins should be preached among all nations. But notice what the Bible emphasizes. The Bible says, beginning in Jerusalem. When you say Jerusalem, that's the house of God. That's where people of God are. Whatever religion that you say that you belong to certain religion, there is only one call that God wants us to do. Begin with us who claim to be follower of God or follower of Christ. The Lord is saying there must be repentance beginning in Jerusalem. And then there will be repentance. That same message of repentance should be given to the other people, to other people who are out there. Therefore, that's what I, I could understand. And this is the reason why I go out, not preaching anything. If whatever verse or part of the Bible or scripture that I go, all of them should and must point us to repentance. That's the whole purpose. Even Jesus, when he began to preach, when you read in Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, the Bible says, And Jesus began, began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So repentance is, is the key knot of the preaching of, of the preaching of Jesus when he preached even to the time in the past. And everyone who is the disciple of the Lord will preach in the same way, preach repentance. And notice how many people, now that's the question that I have actually for you. Do you know how many people should repent? Because sometimes we think uh, just a few group of people should repent. In the book of Acts chapter 17, verse 13, the Bible says, In the time of the ignorance, God weakened at, the, at but it say, but now God command all men everywhere to repent. The Bible is saying God is commanding all men. This is Acts 17 verse 30. God is commanding all men everywhere to repent, including you that you are listening. So, but the question is, can you repent if you don't know your sins? That's my question for you. So you will not repent except you know your sins. The first thing that we need to know is our sin. We are not to search about sins of other people. We must search our hearts. And once we discover who we are, then we can repent. So this is the calling of God for all of us. Share this with your friends, that the Lord is calling lovely for all of us to repent. Doesn't matter who you are, whether you are a man, whether you are a rabbi, whether you are a pastor, 
whether you own that member, the Lord is calling us to repent. So lovely, the Lord is waiting for you for repentance. Not to go to a priest to repent your sin. As a Catholic, some Catholic do, they pray to their priest, but the Lord is saying to repent or to confess our sin to Him. Because First John 1 verse 9, the Bible says if we confess our sin, He is faithful and just to forgive us. You can trust Him. doesn't matter what we've done in our life. If we come to Jesus, if we come to God, because remember, God sent His Son so that we can be in connection to Him through His Son. Because He is the mediator between God and us. And we're going to receive pardons of our sin. doesn't matter what you have done in your life, there is much blood to wash away our sins. God bless you. See you next time.